Good morning, and it's time to have a global Thanksgiving. I'm going to be making an Indian spices inspired butternut squash soup. So I'm going to be throwing in some extra virgin olive oil, and to that I'm going to be adding in some cloves. And after that, some cinnamon powder. So we'll do one pinch of the cinnamon powder and one pinch of chili powder. Be very mindful of the heat. I like it a little bit harder, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. Okay, so depends upon the type of chili powder you have. And some curry leaves. You can get the curry leaves in your local Indian store for sure. Oh my God, it sounds like the crackers during the volley. The fireworks smells nice already. And to that, I'm going to be adding in some minced garlic. I like this flavor of garlic. So it has about six cloves in there, but you can use maybe four or five. But anything lesser than that is not going to contribute to the beauty of this recipe. To this, some red onions. So I use red onions more than I use white onions in my recipes. Red onions has a lot of activated quercetin. The good thing about using activated quercetin is that it is so good as a natural antihistamine. So during the allergy seasons, you don't want anybody to be sick so that you can all enjoy the holidays. So it's a good idea to incorporate red onions into your soup. So at this juncture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be salting the onions, which is very different from what I normally do. But for this recipe, it warrants that. So I'm going to be putting in a teeny weeny bit more of the cinnamon and an ample pinch, so about a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Mmm, it smells uh, like heaven. Spices really do something amazing to most people and I like to be involved in the joy of cooking. To me, every little spice is reminiscent of something and life should be filled with memories and food contributes to that to a really large extent. So beautiful. It's starting to get Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely and caramelized. So to this, I'm going to be putting in some roasted butternut squash. So this was previously roasted in an oven, 350 degrees for about 20 minutes should do it. I love that to completely go through. And to this, I'm going to be adding in some dill leaves. Remember that the order is really important when you do home cuisine, more than the quantity. So the order is what really contributes to the flavor profile. Quantity, of course, if you're gonna have 30 people over, the small pot's not gonna cut it. So, you know, decide to go a little bit higher on that. So, okay, to that, I'm gonna be adding in some coconut milk. Beautiful. And a little bit of water. Want to make sure that all the smells are, mm, they are integrating beautifully. Time to put in a little bit more dill leaves. Don't put all of it in. Okay, time for that to cook through. I'll give that about five minutes on high. You see the way that's and all that really fast bubbly action going. It's time to turn it off right now. And I'm going to put this into a Vitamix and blend it to make it really smooth like silk with all of that delectable flavor. So good. So it's in the Vitamix right now and I'm going to a little bit blend right through. And with that, it's done. Beautiful. 
It smells divine. Super, super divine. So I'm going to be pouring in that really thick, beautiful soup. And all I'm going to serve it with is with some garam masala sprinkles on top, a teeny weeny bit of salt, a teeny weeny bit of cinnamon, just rustic, and a little bit of dill leaves. Because I think the combination of sage and butternut squash is so overdone. <laughs> That's the reason. It's a little bit of a fresh taste, you know? So, I'm gonna go with a taste test. Mmm. It's supremely delectable. Very smooth and hence a fabulous flavor and so unique. This will definitely be a global Thanksgiving that you do not forget. Mmm. Please share with us what you did for Thanksgiving with your family. I'd love to hear from you. Until we meet again in another episode of Own Cuisine, this is Vaidya Priyanka and happy holidays.